Yo, what is good, everybody? I thought I'd take a... Well, ooh, Betty. Hey, Mox, we should throw some major parties. My friends are dying to meet you. But first, we should finish up things as promised to the landlord I would do. This bitch pretty much... This fucking bitch pretty much lured me in with her sexiness to try to get her. Because she's like, damn, Mox is in the military. He's fat ass as a major or some bullshit. He could help me with the landlord. Like, ah, oh, this bitch just wanted me to be friends with her just so I could make the house look good. You want to bang you, woman? That's the goal. Bang my roommate. But anywho. So, what can we talk about today? I think I take a, uh, let's take a break from uh, my middle school adventures and... Maybe I can tell you guys about the time I met Martine. Yeah, uh, you know, that this was around the time where I was still playing this game, so. You know, actually, I want to stick to stories where this game was, you know, relevant at that time. And, you know, it was just my the game I played on a daily. So, how did I meet Martine? Well, so as soon as after I got out of that middle school, and I started attending the new ghetto ass middle school, because, you know, I'm like, stupid and I failed. Uh, I met Martine through another friend of ours by the name of Rudy. Now, I lived at that apartment when I was a kid. I've lived there, wow, I, honestly, I can't remember the day we moved in. However, I do remember that when we moved in, my aunt looked at the rock. We used to have a rock in front of our, uh, our, our apartment. We had two rocks and a tree. And what time, she's like, I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder, if you know where that's from. So, I don't remember the years of moving in, to be honest. But I do remember my most of my life there. And so, I didn't go outside very often. I wanted to, but I wasn't really... Uh, I didn't really want to make friends with anybody because, you know, I just... I didn't want to. You know, I didn't want to meet new people. I didn't want to talk, so I didn't, I didn't really care. But one day, I started going outside a little more often than usual. And I was just going for a walk. That's all it was. It was just a walk. So I used to tell my brother's dad, hey, can I go for a walk? And he like, yep, just come right back. And my, aunt, my grandma and my uncle used to live right next door to me. So my grandma lived right next door, which was crazy, to be honest. They lived right next door. I shit you not. That was one of the most interesting moments in my life where because I've always as a kid I used to always live with my aunts and uncles in my grandma's house you know I remember most of my life with them hardly remember my parents but and funny and here we are moving into these apartments where my man where my mom was cool with the manager so it was kind of interesting that my aunt and uncle and grandma lived right next door and then across the way which was literally across the way, a step towards the other apartment. My other aunt lived there with her boyfriend. So it was kind of weird. But um, yeah, so I started going outside more often. Because I'm taking a break from going next door to my grandma's house. And I met this uh, I met this girl. Congratulations, the house looks great. Fuck yeah. Ooh, oh yeah, we're going to buy that bed for obvious reasons. We're already best friends, so we might as well sleep in the same bed together. We're going to have some hanky-panky. Fuck, $4,000? What if we just sell this? Yeah, let's sell this bed. Five grand. All right, got a few thousand bucks to spare. Let's do this. Make love to you, woman. Yeah, that's right, baby. We're going to do this. You're going to do it with your glasses on and your hat. Oh, the kissing begins. It's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Look at that tone body. Look at me. Look at my, where my hand was. Right on that ass. I own you. Let's do this. Will she do it? Let's do it. Yeah, we're at that level. We're cool. She she don't even she don't even work out, but she dresses like she does. I think your stats. Where do you? Oh, up, oh, up! Oh. Is it gonna happen? Who the fuck is outside? Is that Bart Simpson? Oh yeah, we're doing this. So, uh, so yeah, I met this girl named Brianna. Now, Brianna was. She lies. She was cool people for a bit, but you know, drama happens around. You know, so uh, so while I met her, we were just like, "What's up with you? What's good with you?" And there was a game we were playing 
where or they invited me to play because I student like got to know Brianna for a little bit. There was a game that everybody played where the boys were being chased by the girls. And I thought it was, you know, I thought it was pretty like hell yeah, you know, the girls and they invited me to play, so the whole game was just running from the girls. And if they catch you, they do what they want with you. Ugh. I think you should not wear that hat and glasses. Let's get it on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know that song, you're cool. Menu. Yeah, so in, uh, yeah, well, that's how we played, and that's how I got to know. I met Martine's sister first, and I won't say her name, but I met her first before I met Martine. And I met some other girls who everybody had a crush on because she was the hottest girl there. And, uh, there was another one by the name of Isabelle, or we called her, her, everyone called her Isabella, but you know, I called her Isabella. She's a, you know, cute little Mexican girl. She had fucking blue eyes. Whatever. So. But I hardly ever talked to her, but I did, every time I wanted to get caught, I wanted to get caught by her. And she used to be nervous around me, but she was, she was really outspoken with every other guy, because there was other guys that were around. There was only like three of them. It was a dude named Rudy who became one of our good friends. He was actually good friends with Martine. And another guy, we called him Twinkie. He was a fat guy. <laughs> Twinkie. <laughs> yeah, they called him Twinkie. I don't know why. I didn't know his real name, but I called him Twinkie. Martine knew him. So, yeah, we got chased by him, and I got real cool with Rudy. Yeah, Rudy was actually a really funny guy. Like, Rudy was disgusting. He was disgustingly funny. What I mean by disgustingly funny, he was a hornball. He fucking... He always talked about, like... He always talked about stuff we shouldn't be talking about. He used to steal videos. He used to steal magazines of a sort. And he used to dry hump my dolls. He was a fucking weirdo. Because we he, he played a wrestling game. We, we used to play SmackDown vs. Raw. And maybe one day I'll play that for fun. He, um... While he was playing it, he used to make himself dress... He His character design... Was a skull mask, Dragon Ball Z haircut, all black clothes, and came out of the entrance looking like, uh, dancing like fucking John Michaels. And he liked the moaning part of the song that he used to make weird humping noises. <laughs> he was fucking weird. But Rudy was cool people, man. Uh, so one day, so this is how I met Martine. So I, I, the reason why I'm bringing all those people up was because that's how I was introduced to Rudy. Who introduced me to Martine? One day, we were all wrestling. Wrestling was still a thing. So, a lot of times, me and the other kids around, we would wrestle. The girls wouldn't wrestle with us for obvious reasons. And it was just me and the boys. You know, we, we all wrestled. I did a lot of The Undertaker stuff. And I had another friend who was more Brock Lesnar and John Cena. So, uh, Martine one day ended up joining us. And... I, I accidentally slammed him on the floor. Now, I didn't want to slam him too hard. I didn't slam him too hard, but because of the, you know, gravity, his body weight, I accidentally hit his head on a, a tree trunk that used to be there. So whoever cut down that tree, they didn't take out the roots. So it was just like, a, have you ever seen like a tree that was cut down and there was roots that were poking out of it? Well, whoever cut that tree down a while back didn't pull that root out. I don't know if that's a mandatory thing, but yeah. So there was a root sticking out of the ground, and obviously it hardened because it died. I, I assumed it died, and that's why it hardened. Uh, or it was just, yeah, it was just like an ugly piece of dirt there. So when I slammed Martin to the ground, I didn't realize that that was there. I thought it was just like a pile of dirt. And, you know, we're wrestling in the grass, so it hit his head, and I saw his face turn from, like, he was crying. I heard him. And he ran home crying, and I felt so bad, like, it was a, it was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt him, you know, we were just, we were just playing. And Rudy looked at me like, ooh, damn, dude. I'm like, and I told him, like, I didn't mean to, it was an accident. I didn't know it was there. And 
Uh, he, he then Rudy joked around, oh shit, his mom's coming. And I was like, you're lying. I'm like, no, nah, I'm kidding, bro. He goes, I'll talk to him tomorrow for you, man. I go, yeah, can you please tell him I'm sorry? Like, I, I didn't mean to, you know, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that to him. He's like, yeah, sure. Uh, the next day, well, actually, what I told Rudy was, please let Martin know that I'm sorry and tell him to, to come over, to come over to my house. I have Nintendo games, I have, I have a PlayStation, you know, we'll hang out, we'll, we'll hang out, you, you come over too, you know, so... And it was like summer vacation, so my mom wasn't there. She used to leave me home alone. And uh, my brother wasn't really there either. He used to go to his dad's. And because of a summer vacation, he spent most of his time with his dad. So, I was like, ooh, I'm going to get that woman. I'm going to get that woman. Who's this moron running around with? I admire, I admire his bravery running around with a fucking Lincoln hat and... Abraham Lincoln had in his boxers, but anyways. So Martin came over. He actually came over. And he knocked on the door and I, and I opened it. I was like, hey Martin. He was, hey man, Rudy said you you were gonna hang out today. I was like, yeah, bro. I was like, come on in. I let him in. And I had frozen pizzas that my mom used to always buy us. And I was like, Are you hungry, dude? I'll make you some food. And I was like, yeah, sure. So um he I made him some pizzas that I usually make, handed it to him, we started playing games, and he told me that he had a GameCube. He had a GameCube and Nintendo 64, but I had a PlayStation 2 and Super Nintendo. So, I had a 64 too, but it was somewhere in my closet, and I didn't feel like getting it, so. But, you know, I did have it. The only issue was that we had to play the 64 in my room because I had an old TV with a certain connection that only worked with that TV. I, you probably, you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about, but before HDMI cables and before, <laughs> well, actually not before, but there were there were these. They like they look like forks for two little needles, almost like a, a tail, and you had to put it in the back of the TV and screw on a screw in order for it to make contact with a piece of metal. That was the way the TV would actually uh, get the signal from the consoles. That was a very old way of doing it because there was other methods to connecting, but that's all I had. My TV had knobs on it. It was that bad. We have to hit it for it to work. Yeah, I missed that TV. It was my aunt's TV. And there was still a little piggy sticker on it. I, want, I wanted to keep it so bad, but my stupid stepdad is a piece of shit. Fucking hate stepdads, man. <laughs> oh, I've been promoted to flight officer. Woo. Somebody dropped those troops, deliver the cargo, and guard the air. Woo. Space over Sim City. There's a way you pay greater advance. Pay blah, 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 blah. So cool. I got promoted. All right. Almost there. And um, so, yeah. So, Martin came over and we started playing. Um, fuck. What did we play? Ooh, the Sonic Shower. Hey, yeah. We were, that's what we were playing. We played uh, Sonic the Hedgehog because I had the Mega Collection and I was obsessed with Mega Collection. I constantly played it. I played it for at least like. It was just one of those games where you just turn on for a second and you're done playing it and you go to something else. So, yeah, I had Resident Evil 4 that I got for Christmas that year because my uncle got it for me. And we started playing Resident Evil 4. And Martin didn't have it, even though GameCube had it at that time. It, actually, Resident Evil 4 came out on the GameCube first before it came out on PlayStation. And, yeah, so we started playing it. And I had the Mercenaries unlocked at that time. So Martin was able to right away get in and start playing it. It went to a point where he stayed there. Like, he came over, like, around 1 or 2 in the afternoon. That motherfucker stayed there till 8.30 at night. Not that I mind. You know, I wanted him to... I wanted to know him. Sorry. Rudy never came over that day. He never fucking came. He said he would meet Martin at the house, but he never did. Martin never left. And we just kept playing games together. We played Killer Instinct together. We played uh, other two-player games, like uh, wrestling and Sonic... What else did we have? Uh, I think I had Turok at that time, but it probably wasn't working correctly. And um, he said, yeah, maybe, maybe tomorrow I could come over and bring my uh, GameCube and bring my, my 64 and shit like that. And I'm like, yeah, cool. That'll be awesome. And the next day he came. Martin came over. We brought his GameCube and we we're playing. Uh, he had, he had, Don wait, no, not Donkey Kong. He had Paper Mario. He had Paper Mario, some Medal of Honor game. Uh, 
I think he had Star Wars. Oh, no, no, no. That was later. That was actually later. He mm -hmm. had Star Wars. So, um... So, yeah, he had Star Wars. He had, he had some Star Wars game, but that was when he first got his PlayStation 2 because his mom realized that. that This is where he's going to get funny. But And we started... Yeah, we played that shit, too, and... Huh? You know, I was watching him play most of the time. I didn't really, like... I wasn't interested in playing. And that's what I like to do. I like to watch other people play a game. I can sit there and watch a game being played. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I actually... I'm planning on doing a video. You guys don't have to watch it. It's just kind of like an ASMR thing. I don't like using that word, but... Yeah, like, I want... I was Because I love this game, The Sims. I love it. But there's some YouTubers out there that... What I want, what I want this game to be playing in the background. They constantly just have it's you know you, when you watch the same thing, you kind of just know, you know, you kind of just know the lingo. Oh man, I should have talked to her. But so I want to make my own ASMR video of this whole game because I love the sound effects of the game. I love everything about it. So I'm probably just gonna do that. Anyways, yeah, Martin stayed there even longer. Like he he didn't go home. And when my mom came over, or it was the weekend, so my mom was there. Bones of steel and abs, baby. Woo, I'm going to get promoted again. I just got to study mechanical so I can get promoted. Fuck yeah. And then I'm going to bang the girlfriend, roommate girlfriend. I just need to get mechanical skills. Then I'm going to get, ooh, yes. So anyways, I had The Sims too, so Martin used to watch me play it as well. But uh, yeah, Martin never left home that day. He actually stayed there. Till 12 o'clock at night, and his mom was pissed. Like, she was pissed. She was like, what the fuck are you doing over there? She goes, you been... Because, you know, parents... Back in those days, parents don't like... Uh, I mean, parents to this day... Well, no, I don't think parents today are like that, to be honest. But back in those days, parents would think, like, I'm not raising my kid right, or I'm not taking care of him. So it's kind of like, it's embarrassing to them that my son rather be at your house, you know... Yeah, and when, when he met my mom, my mom loved him. My mom loved him like a son. Oh. She loved him like a son. and, and uh, you, well, She loved him like a son because there was one day, or there was one year, Martin ended up leaving. He had to move out. Like He didn't move out, move out. His mom was still there, but he had to move to Mexico. I don't remember why exactly that had to happen, but... I thought it was the end of my friendship with him at that point. But uh, we'll come to that. So do, he never left. But he, he ended up going home. He got in trouble. And then he told me that he couldn't come over anymore. But he said, I can come over. And I was like, all right. So I came over. And his mom at first didn't like me. Because uh, I used to dress like a gothic. You know, I was, I was gothic. You know, black makeup. Or black, you know, paint around my eyes, or whatever. You know, it, it, people call it makeup, but it was Halloween paint that I had. And I just kept using it. And I wore a lot of spike bracelets, spike necklaces. I, you know, I was a weird-looking kid, and Martine's mom didn't like that. She thought I was uh, a devil worshiper. She thought I was gay. You know, she, she just thought I was a real bad influence on him. You know, and, and keep in mind it was long time ago. You know, so times are different now, obviously. And so uh, when I came over, I was, you know, I, I, I couldn't speak Spanish very well. And Martin's mom knew that. She knew I didn't really speak Spanish, but I did my best to say hi. And I was like, hola, como estas, um, señora, or señora. And she told me, oh, como te llamas? Me llamo, me llamo Max. Dragon Knight Box. <laughs> He's, uh, he's like, okay, 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 for Potesim Yen, meaning big cave. And uh, ahorita vengo y me voy a la tienda y todo. And so, and her, his mom and my mom shared many things in common. They were both young for their ages and they partied. They were very outgoing. So, so I got to meet Martin's brothers and sisters. They were cool people too, like his little brother. I, I loved his little brother too. Like his little brother to this day is like a brother to me. Like we're all we all have a we all have a family bonding. I mean, we're pretty much family friends. The um so So over the years, yeah, Martin 
Martin and me, we were inseparable. It went to the point where Rudy was forgotten. Rudy never came back to the group. And it wasn't because we didn't like Rudy. It's just he never left home. He was always home alone. And we went to his house before. His house was crowded. He had a sister who I thought was hot. And I thought she was a freak because she had Playboy Bunny fucking pictures. He had two older brothers. And his mom... I hardly ever saw her. She was always at work. But he had two older brothers. The oldest brother was the coolest. So from the looks of it... Because those, those apartments, they only had two bedrooms. So you can imagine how crowded that must be. You have a master bedroom that clearly belongs to mom. And probably shares it with her sister. Because obviously sisters can't really stay in the same room with the boys. You know, it's just... It's not right. Women need their own space. That's just how it is. And yeah, Rudy's house was crowded. But it was fun. They had Xboxes. They had Playstations. They were cool people. Watching wrestling and stuff like that. Watching movies. And uh, yeah, like, so we didn't really, we didn't really see Rudy for a long time. And it's just me and Martin just kept talking, hanging out. We, we went outside and we played Resident Evil together. You know, I would pretend to be Leon. He'd be the the farmers, and you know, we would play Final Fantasy together. Like I try to get him to do. I try to do with him what I tried doing with Adam and the homeboy Jesse. Him and Jesse looked very similar together. They looked exactly the same. Just the uh, the hair was different. Martin's hair. Martin's hair was just. It was fluffy, but it wasn't curly, if that makes any sense. Jesse's hair, he had one of those haircuts where it stood up straight, but the front was folded down. It was weird. But, uh, ooh. That's what's up, man. I gotta go to work. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, so this gone for, this was going on for a long time. Every day, me and that dude hung out. For the summer vacation, it was just me and him. We were inseparable. Inseparable. Played outside. Played video games. He stayed the night at my house for the first time because his mom... His his older sister, she was responsible for everybody else. But... She was responsible for everybody else. And then... He one day asked her if he could, uh... If he could stay over at my house. Oh, I got promoted to senior officer! Fuck yes. Survived airborne tour. Made it to the brass. You are well respected of your console and often sought for more logic training to make you a better like okay, charisma and speechless. Whatever. Okay, yeah. To get to commander. Fuck yeah. Damn kids outside. <sighs> I got promoted. What do we unlock? The artist block. Ooh. Cool. But uh so yeah, Martin stayed the night over and you know, all night. We were up all night playing games. And this is when YouTube was around at that time, but we didn't have a computer. My mom didn't want internet. She didn't want a computer because, one, it was expensive, and, two, uh, you know, uh, you, you know those. she didn't want us to get on the internet because she was afraid people would try to find us and do things to us. So my mom was one of those people where she figured that that was scary and that shouldn't be a thing kids shouldn't have that and so we didn't have internet so what, what we we used to do was i had a camcorder it was my mom's camcorder but she didn't know how to fucking use that she just assumed that the tapes would stay the way they are and you know it was her memories whatever my mom had a, a big thing for memories and uh we used to use that tape to make little videos we were you know we were just bored so making videos upgrade your adobe when you go to buy mode ah shit i have to buy shit get promoted to career seven career eight fuck i have to do all this crap Eh, well and so what had happened was we played we did this thing where i wish i had these tapes i wish i still had them but you know, my stepdad ruined our fucking lives and we lost the storage. Uh, we did a thing where we recorded with a tape. And this was the last tape you could ever use. I, I, mean, I know most of you don't know what I'm talking about. 
but you know it was a VHS camcorder where you record with a tiny little tape that was probably the size of your phone and we recorded it was we were we recorded it in the dark did I don't know what kind of videos are like these nowadays and I wish I still had it but it was really fun there's something about it was really fun now the way I'm describing it ooh, yeah get her numbers it's like a fucking cheat on you later with her it was the only hot woman in town right now so so okay we, we recorded a black screen right but what re what really happened was we were just recording in the dark and uh, obviously those kind of cameras they were really shitty so they didn't work right and we recorded in the dark but what we were really doing was setting up for that scene in Resident Evil 4 where the uh fuck what are the name of those monsters it was in the commercial where um damn look at the size of those magumbos jeez Look at those McGumbos. <laughs> so, we recorded this scene where those hissers, those guys that goes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember the name of those. Regenerators. Oh, Regenerators. That's the name. Okay. Yeah, there were some Regenerators in it. And when you first encounter the Regenerator with the spikes, you see it through a screen. So, what me and Martin did was we had the camera pointed at the dark. And we would use the sound effects of the game, like when he reloads it, and, and Martin did good with the acting. So one day we're all like, okay, we're going to go in this house. It's very dark. I can't see. So in the game, we would click the door to open it. So we, it would make it sound like we were actually doing it. So think of it as, think of it as like uh, found footage, but without the picture where you see the sound effects. and Or you hear the sound effects, sorry. So... At that point, Ouch. we just kind of went along with talking. We we improvised everything, and they're like, "I think I heard something over there, man." Yeah, me too. Hold on, let me make sure this gun's reloaded. Cling. How'd you do that? <laughs> Martin bubbled. How'd you do that? <laughs> that was perfect. And shit. And then um, and then here came the monster part, where it's like, "Hey, check out this thing." Oh, it's a, it's a video. Or, or not a video. It was like, it's a monitor. Let's watch it. And we click the button. You know, there's that part where the regenerator steps in. So we would focus the camera on the TV like if it was a, like if it was a security monitor. I was like, oh, oh shit, it's coming. Oh, man. Ah, ah, ah. You know, we would quickly turn up the volume with the remote and start, and you know, start shooting randomly because using the game's... Uh, audio for when they uh when they fire the gun and we were just screaming ah, ah. You know, just start shooting like crazy and we're all like this shit is fucking fun like this is legitimately fun and we started doing that with everything we did it with uh we did it with war games uh that was later on though when i met uh when i met dexter and sal and we started doing that well, well me and martin did that first together but later on during that time we we met uh what's his name we met dex later but i didn't mean but dex martin was still in elementary school by that time he wasn't in the sixth grade with us to be honest he wasn't in the sixth grade he was somewhere else for the sixth grade but i went to a different school in the seventh grade so Technically, oh no, never mind. I'm thinking differently. But anywho, so this is where I met Dex. So the new school year started. Me and Martin became the best of friends that summer. Like, because you know, summer lasts for two months, right? Now, nah, me, me and Martin, we became like the best of friends. We did everything from from making a tree house in front of the apartment to we went to the store almost every day like we try to get money from our parents to go to the store sometimes my aunt she had a she had you know uh, food stamps because you know, she was her you know that's none of anyone's concerned but you guys know struggling parents right because she had two babies my cousins were little at that time we used to borrow her car to go get 
snacks and stuff like that. And, you know, I didn't spend a lot. But we didn't do it every day. Mom, my mom would also give us money or she would bring us back stuff, so. And there was always food at the house. Just my mom said, just don't touch my stuff, which is her, you know, mothers have their little diet foods and stuff like that. Then, then yeah, like, like like the whole summer we became, ooh, look at me taking like those hooters. My gosh, it's about to get real. So, uh, ooh, flirt. Congratulations again, family friend. Fuck yeah. Pretty soon available. Whatever. And, um, we, so yeah, we were inseparable. So when school came around and I had to go to my new middle school at that time. Uh, I met Dex. I met Dex through, uh, well, actually, it, it's a little bit out of order because my whole gothic phase, that was, uh, later down the line, but whatever. Martina, oh, look at this, we're flirting. So the way I met Dex is I already knew Martina at that point, and uh, Martina didn't go to the same school with us, so I, I met Dex through... I actually met him in class, and the way I met him was we had science together, and we had a teacher that was kind of strict with us, and he took all those hooters, and people were actually joking. Oh, she accepted my flirting! Oh, look at that. She likes it. Oh, she's in love with me. Oh, we're dancing. Dance with me, dance with me. Oh, baby, dance with me, dance with me, dance with me. Oh, baby. I love that song. So, um, cheer up. The fuck? No, let me get that hook. Press my body. Man, you. Uh, so I met Dex like this. Dex was getting... The reason why they call him Dexter was because he was... He looked like a nerd. He was a total dork. You know? He, uh... Wore glasses. He wore regular, you know, regular kid clothing. You know what I mean? Like, he was... He just had the nerdiest clothes. They used to call him Dexter. His real name... Eh... I don't want to give out that information, but... Yeah. Like, you... I, I know. Oh, what about Martin? Martin, that's not really his real name. It's, it is his name, but it's not his real name. You know? So, I'm going to just leave it at that. Uh, so, the, the way I met Dex was we sat in the back of the classroom. But that part of the class was, uh, or that table we sat at, it faced the wall away from the teacher. And I don't know why I sat back there, but I did. Huh? And uh, I was back there with Dex, and Dex looked all depressed and everything. Because obviously he was depressed because people were people didn't they made fun of him. They didn't like him. And uh, I just told him, "Hey man, are you are you doing good?" And he's like, "Yeah." Like he was all upset. I was like, "You should join the dark side, man. We don't I don't get fucked with dressed like this, so, or you know." I mean, yeah, every once in a while you get an asshole who tries to talk shit to you, but they're, at the end of the day, they just kind of, like, keep the distance from you because they think you're a double worshiper. Or they think you're, like, school back then was pretty tough, you know. They they thought, you, if they thought you were gay, if they thought you were a devil worshiper, they wanted to stay away from you. Because, you know, that's what parents obviously taught us, you know, to stay away from weirdos who might do drugs and shit like that. When they were the worst people on the planet compared to us. And... Dex is like, you okay? Like, your name. He told me his real name. I told him my name. And, you know, we hung out for a bit. And he he literally took my advice. The next day, he wore all black. And he asked us if we had any paint to put on his eyes. And we, you know, we painted his eyes. And, and you know, he, he just became one of us. And, you know, we hung out at lunch. We told them this is where the, the punks and the gothics hang out. We used to hang out by a spot by the restroom. It was right by a... I know this is going to sound weird, but... The, oh! Oh my god! She's being abducted! Oh! No! And look at me, I'm just panicking! Whoa! Oh no, they took my waifu! 
Oh, that's fucking terrifying. I've never noticed that. Oh, I'm crying for her. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. No, I know the aliens do that. But I, this is my first time actually seeing another sim react to it. That usually doesn't happen. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. They panic. Ugh. Aliens scare me. Uh, and look at me just standing there like, oh, oh well, there goes the waifu. Now I gotta get a new one. So, uh, yeah, Dex. So we hung out by this place by the bathrooms. And this is gonna sound weird, but the uh, the restroom part, there was a girl's restroom and the guy's restroom. Obviously, they were next to each other. But the part we hung out by was a wall that was next to the girl's restroom door. Now, we didn't block it or anything like that. So, you know, the girls could go in their bathroom without any problems. It was just a little corner, you know. It looked like a... Yeah, it was just like a, a small corner. And here she comes. Brought her right back. Now she's going to act weird. Yeah, they're so fucking weird. Look at her. She just stands there. But at least she wants to go to bed. Yeah, I've always been told that when a sim gets abducted, they 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 change. They look fucking weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just got back from being abducted. Don't mind me taking a nice shower. Huh, there's two bathrooms in this place. I didn't realize that. Yeah, so... Yeah, so Dex, Dex and I just, uh, we became best friends after that, too, because, like, till this day, he'll tell you, like, oh, this guy saved my life. Yeah, he's just, he's just being modest. He saved his life. But he was, he was truly one of my bestest friends, and I love that dude to death. Like, just like Martin, you know, I love him to death. And, till this, and, you know, that's what's funny. Out of the four friends that I had, well, technically three. Well, no, four. Four, actually, because there's Sal and Sasha. Martin and me, Martin and Dex, they, they're, they, they're ride or die. They've been around forever. But I mean, there, you, obviously, we had moments where we didn't talk. But the fact that, uh, the fact that we were, were this close, that we could start talking again, like the old days, yeah, you know, that, that, that's true friendship right there. Uh, funny things that happened between me and Dex was, he, uh, this dude, one time this motherfucker, <laughs> so he was really happy. You know, he, he used to be a really happy dude because he got, you know, he got the confidence to be himself because of the fact that we, we were, you know, we were like a family, you know, a group of, of rejects, outcasts and shit. We were all like a family. Nobody really fucked with us. I mean, they just, they said joke, they would talk shit about us, but they never really told us anything, never really got in our face or anything like that. But one time Dex ran across the room. In the same class, because that was the only class we had together, was the uh, science class. This motherfucker charged through the door while everybody was stepping into class. This dude literally tried to charge, shoulder charge me. Now keep in mind, Dex is taller than me. That dude's like 5'9". I'm 5'6". And when we were in school, I was 5'5", five five and he was like 5'7", or 5'8". You're the big dude. You So, this dude fucking charged at me full force. I stood my ground and tackled him, and he fell. And the way he... Dex is so... This is what makes Dex so funny. He's very... He was very... He exaggerated so much when he fell or when something shocked him. He fucking exaggerated up the ass, and I loved it because he was so... He, Dex knew how to be funny. He was very comedic. To this day, he's like that, too. And, uh... And one time, he crashed into me, and this dude fell... He felt like he, when he tried to tackle me and I hit him and I shoulder thrusted him, he fell on the ground, his backpack fell, his books fell, and he even took shit off the desk while he fell. <laughs> and when he fell on the ground, all dramatic, he gets up really fast and looks at me with wide eyes and an open mouth, but a little open mouth like he was about to whistle. And he just looked at me like, oh, <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> And I was like, you all right, dude? He goes, huh, you're like a rock, dude. He's just he's like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking, you know, I'm tough. <laughs> so I picked, and I picked his ass up. And the teacher looked over. And was like, the teacher was across the room. Funny enough, this happened in front of the class, but he was way at the back of the room. I don't know what he was doing, but there were computers there. So I assumed he was helping me. Uh, 
All right, we're gonna get this party going. Gotta get my ass out of here. I got promoted. Got promoted, and I'm gonna get me a girl. Yeah, like a. Uh, Congratulations, Mox threw a great party. Now you can go go out to the club Taylor place. The fuck? All right, let's try to suit, try and score. Ooh, no, 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 no. Let's play it safe. Let's call over, flirt with girl, flirt with baby girl here. Come on, keep talking to her. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Get her back outside and try and score. No, 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 no. Flirt. So, yeah. And, um... Yeah, th th that mean that that's how our relationship was. We were very, we were, we fucked around all the time. We 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 play fighted like we because you know he was a ninjutsu, and you know I was just an amateur fighter. I tried to do everything from uh, kung fu to boxing to karate. I even tried some of his ninjutsu. And, you know, I just yeah, I tried my very best to be, you know, to be a good fighter. But you know, every now and then we fucked around. So school, we fucked around all the time. We, we play fighted. Yo, me and Dex were really rough. So I had a friend. I had a best friend at school. And I had a best friend at home. And which was my team. And when I first went. I first, when I wanted to hang out with Dex. My fuck, hell yeah, family friend. Now we got to get her to love me. Almost there. Compliment, that's right, that's right. Tickle? No, yes. No. Oh, the flirting! Oh, she got a heart. Tickle the hooters. All right, these girls like it when you tickle the hooters. So, ah, oh, we barely know each other. Oh my God, you're such a tease! You fell in love with me, bitch. Tickle her. Tickle her. Tickle her. Tickle her. Tell her a joke about me. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I don't want to embarrass Dex, so I'm not going to say this. Or I don't know. Is it embarrassing? I first went to his house. And it was quite the... It was quite the experience going to his house. I don't want to... Well... I don't know. Well, okay, okay you know what? It, it's... Obviously, that was a one-time thing because the next time I came back, uh, it was, it was uh, okay. So the one time when I first went to his house, to Dexter's house, he uh, damn, she keeps pushing me away. We don't, we barely know each other. My God, Debbie, come on, Debbie, love me, bitch. I'm trying to love you. Tickle the hooters, hug. talk eh. so when i first went to dex's house his house was i think they had a party because their house was a mess i'm pretty sure they had a party or something yes i got the kiss fuck yes and um looks like i gotta try this again because i'm getting tired uh yeah so one time I went to his house and it was just like, yeah, it was a mess. But I think they had a party. I'm pretty sure they had a party. They had something. His mom was a little embarrassed and she told me, oh, I'm, please forgive the mess. I'm sorry. We had quite a... It's like, oh, it's okay, madam. I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know, the name's Mox. Nice to meet you. His mom was very polite. I, I love you. And his dad, too. His dad was really cool. Really, she comes to say bye to me while I'm just waving at this guy. His dad was really cool too. Like his dad was basically one of us. And boy, his father, his father, <laughs> one of the nights I went to spend the night at his house, I actually slept. I slept on a foot. Dexter was quite the host. Let me tell you. When I first spent the night at his house, this motherfucker didn't even offer me his bed. Didn't even offer me a blanket or pillow. I slept on a broken chair that he had in his room. A <laughs> broken chair that was for a five-year-old. You know those little tiny-ass lazy boy chairs? I slept in that thing all night. And he's all like, morning, buddy. I was like, yeah, good morning to you, you fucking asshole. They didn't even give me a blanket or pillow. <laughs> I loved that chair, too, because the next time I stayed the night over at his house, I slept there, too. He had one of those beds where 
it was a bunk bed, but underneath the bunk bed was a computer desk because he had his own computer. And yeah, dude, I I was on the internet at his house all the time looking up, uh, you know, H, Hen, Pervert. You know, I was looking up stuff like that, <laughs> and I was, and I didn't know. Oh man, wait, like, that's when I got into YouTube too. But I wasn't really, we weren't making videos. We were just watching random shit. That's where I found out about stick figures on crack and Barbie Girl, Sonic the Hedgehog stuff. So it was actually pretty funny. So Dex introduced me to the internet. He was my way into the internet. But you know, it, it wasn't as, fun. it wasn't as deep as it was. But anywho. All right, let's try to score one more time. Another party, we're gonna score. Uh, so our yeah, our friendship got pretty deep. I stayed the night at a lot at his house. He barely stayed at at my house, but when he did, he came over. He brought his guitar. He brought his swords. And, you know, we we just had a blast. His dad. One time, this is one of the funniest moments in our entire friendship. Martin was there, but he was playing in his room. He was playing on the inter he was playing some uh he was playing some like internet game or something. Or he was playing some soldier game. So we're sitting there in Dex's house and we're eating all of his fucking food. Like, well, his dad dude, he had two fucking fridges. One fridge was filled with food, another fridge was filled with snacks. So we were eating microwavable fucking uh We were eating microwavable fucking chicken sandwiches and, and uh well, let's try to score. We're eating microwavable fucking egg sandwiches and shit like that. Oh crap! It worked! Look at where her hand is on my ass. Oh yeah. Yes, baby. I scored with the hottest bitch at the party. What the? Really? It's still out of here. What? What did you say? You want to get married? Well, okay. Okay, I do. I do. Damn! She really had to think about it? <laughs> Wait a minute, I didn't want to get married. Oh, well, whatever. I married the hottest bitch at the market. <gasps> my friend, my other girlfriend, she's going to see. No! I don't want her to see this. Because she got jealous one time. Yeah, don't watch the wedding. Just stay outside while everybody else watches. You'll be the only one out of the loop. Ugh, why did I kiss her like that? So, anywho. you. Yeah, uh, what, this is the funniest moment that in me and Dex's life. He was laying on the floor with no shirt on, wrapped around a blanket. <laughs> it is. <laughs> there were, oh, I probably cost pay you for the major improvements of the house. Oh hell yeah, five thousand bucks. Fuck yeah. His dad walks in, and he's like, Anthony. <laughs> oh shit, I came out his name. Fuck, fuck <laughs> my bad. But he came in, he's like. What is this on the... What is this? Because there was something on the floor. There was a tube. It was like a toothpaste or something. I think it was glue. He looked at the floor. He's like, what's this? And he's laying on the floor. He lifts his legs up like a brat. And he says, I don't know, Dad. Looks like a tube of some sort. <laughs> and I'm on the... We're, we're both laying on the floor. There's a couch behind us. But we're both laying on the floor... <laughs> I don't know, Dad. It looks like a tube of some sort. <laughs> and his dad looked at him all fucking... <laughs> I'm fucking dying on the floor laughing my ass off because... <laughs> because I grew up where if you smartass your parent, you get smacked in the face. Like, I'm known... F that was our life. Me and Martine wouldn't dare backtalk our parents like that. <laughs> you know, we wouldn't dare, but when he, I don't know, dad, like a tube of some sort. he's fucking laying on the floor with no shirt on, no socks on, just shorts, his pants that he never takes off, <laughs> or his short pants, like, I don't know, dude. and his dad couldn't help but smile, <laughs> his dad looked at him like, yeah, you little smart ass, <laughs> you lucky your friends are here, or I choke slap you up. <laughs> Oh, man, dude. Oh, it was one of the best moments of our entire life. Because I just... His, bro, his dad, we knew what it was. You knew what it was, but you were being a fucking dick. <laughs> his dad, what, are you, what is this on the floor? What he really means is, why is it on the floor? <laughs> oh, shit. 
Oh man, I, I fell in love with his family after that. Like I his dad was like another dad to me too. Like I mean I do you know, his dad was cool people. I, I wish I could talk to him again, but you know, it was it's been years, 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 years. But I'm sure if I talk to him again it'd be cool. But yeah, that was that was how I met my two bestest friends. Uh, I'll talk about Sasha and Mark and Sal later in life, but yeah, later on these videos. Well, uh, that's it for me for now. Hope you enjoy this. Enjoy this stuff. This is some fun shit. I, I love the Sims. Love my friends. Love you guys. Take care.